the exit of the Americans, as you said, has robbed uh, them of fear. Uh, they know now that they have defeated the Americans almost. They have. Well, the Americans have certainly have, have allowed them to to come, you know, to go with the narrative that we've beaten the Americans, the way that they've run, uh, scrambled and have abandoned and exited Afghanistan. And Biden's, you know, two speeches. I, I mean, you, you think the guy would be a little bit more responsible, would have some shame and some honor to at least not speak about the Afghans the way he has been speaking about the Afghans. You know, he wants to talk about fun things. What about the 35 million Afghans who are like prisoners inside their own country at the mercy of this, this group called the Taliban? So you're saying Biden has shown no shame or compassion? None. Do you want to elaborate on that? Because, you know, people had an opinion uh, of Trump and Trump was was the man who initiated uh, the deal or or the talks with the Taliban. Uh, and, and, and now you're saying for Joe Biden, who was considered perhaps more liberal and therefore perhaps there were more expectations of him, that Joe Biden has no shame when it comes to the Afghan people. None. I mean, he has no honor, no shame, uh, no conscience. Uh, and, and, you know, it, he was part of this government, of, of the government, uh, you know, in, from two, 2008 onwards, 2009 onwards for two terms, where they made promises. They had, you know, made pledges to the Afghan nation, to the women of Afghanistan. And of course, uh, you know, since 2001, you know, successive U.S. governments have made all sorts of promises and pledges to the Afghan nation. The Afghan government, I understand, it's corrupt, it's inept, all those things. But what about the Afghan people? When you make that promise to a young girl, you can go to school and America will have your back, or you talk to a civil society member that you know, that freedom of expression is important to not just uh, the world, but mostly to the Americans, and we will, we will help, we will support you, we will be by your side. And then to just cut and run like this, is 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 something that's deeply disappointing, and, and and you know bad things will happen in Afghanistan. We will have a refugee problem. People will get executed. Uh, women women will be treated like third class citizens, and it's, this is going to be on Biden uh, first and foremost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I Sorry. Well, Biden owns owns what will follow. It's it's yeah. going to be on him.